What's up guys? We're gonna be talking about how to make money on prize picks. I have five tips and I've been betting on prize picks for about a year now. It's a pretty popular online sports book, but what's really unique about prize picks is they only let you bet on parlays. So you can see here, if you just select one bet, they don't let you bet on it. You need at least two plays, right? In your prize picks entry, you have to have at least two picks, okay? So this is a parlay only sports book. Here you can kind of see, you know, my results, my profit and loss. It's been it's been a little rocky, but is what it is. Betting on parlays in 2023, you know, the point of this video isn't just to talk about, you know, brag, whatever. The point is just to explain to you five tips that I find really helpful and oftentimes tell my friends who are getting started on prize picks. So if you want to make money on prize picks, I got five tips. Some are simple, some are more advanced, but I hope you find this video helpful. So my first tip for making money on prize picks is take advantage of promos, right? The easiest $100 you're ever going to make on prize picks is when you first sign up, right? They have a $100 deposit match for new users. You deposit 100 bucks, they give you 100 bucks for free. There's no catch, right? They're just trying to incentivize new customers to sign up. This is the easiest money you're ever gonna make on price pay. Second, they run promos every single week, every Tuesday and every Friday is typically when they run promos, okay? And promos, again, it's like the cheapest drink you're gonna get at a bar is gonna be during happy hour. The easiest it is to make money on prize picks is gonna be when they're running promos. So you can see right here, every Tuesday, prize picks has a promo called Taco Tuesday, right? Taco Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday! So essentially what Taco Tuesday is, is they discount certain players. So LeBron, for example, you can see right here, they're bringing his points line down from 26 half to 22 half. So you're getting a four point discount if you take the over. That obviously makes it a lot easier to win your bets, right? Because they're giving you a four point discount. So that's a great promo. Every single Tuesday, set a calendar reminder. That's one tip I have. Set a little calendar reminder every Tuesday. Take advantage of Prize Picks Taco Tuesday. And then on Fridays, they have a risk free bet up to $20. Your first bet loses, you get your money back right? That's the easy, like there's literally no downside. You place a $20 bet. If you lose on Fridays, you can see right here, you get your money back. So occasionally prize picks run some other promos, but their most common promos are that Taco Tuesday every Tuesday and then Flex Friday every Friday, which is again, that $20 risk-free. So please, please, please like don't miss these promos. Again, it's the easiest money you're ever gonna make on prize picks is from these promos. So my second tip for prize picks, and you're gonna see, I follow all my advice, right? And you can look this up online too. There's Reddit threads, YouTube videos by other people saying the exact same thing is you can only be placing five and six pick entries on prize picks if you wanna make money, right? That's all I place and literally the math is clear as day. Prize picks is a fixed payout parlay only sports book and it really matters if you're placing two pick, three pick entries or five pick flexes based on the payouts. And I'll break down a little bit about the math here in a second. So prize picks is a fixed payout platform, right? Any three picks you select, I can switch this over to a soccer pick, whatever. I'm always getting a 5X payout for a three leg parlay. This is a ripoff. Three pick entries are horrible. If you look at Underdog Fantasy, which is Prize Picks' main competitor, for a three pick parlay, they're giving you a 6X payout. Prize Picks is ripping you off, only giving you a 5X payout. So basically, if you go through the math behind prize picks, which I've done before, you'll see that five and six pick flexes are mathematically optimal. And basically the way you can think about this is if you're able to win your player props, like Nyland over under two and a half saves, if you can win these player prop bets 57% of the time, only losing 43% of your plays, your ROI playing five pick entries, winning 57% of your over unders on prize picks would be positive 19.2%. You would be demolishing prize picks on five flex entries. Now, if you're winning your player prop bets 57% of the time and you're placing two pick entries, your ROI is negative. You're still losing money, negative 2.53%. For a five flex, your ROI winning 57% of your player prop bets would be 19.25%. For a two pick power play, it would be negative 2.53%. So it makes a 
huge difference if you're placing two pick entries or five pick entries. So you can't be placing two pick entries. You gotta be placing five flex or six flex, ent six flex entries. So my third tip for making money on prize picks is consider correlation. This can make you a ton of money betting on prize picks. So remember, prize picks is a fixed payout platform. It doesn't matter if you take overs, unders, what picks you select, you're always getting the same payout. So it's advantageous to take correlated outcomes. And this may sound confusing, but here's a very simple example, right? You would not want to take Mahomes over for NFL season passing yards and Kelsey under for receiving yards. Why would you do that, right? You want to take both overs together. If Mahomes goes over his regular season passing yards line, well, Kelsey's his main target. So Kelsey's probably getting a lot of those receiving yards and Kelsey's more likely to go over. Right, so you wanna pair outcomes that are likely to occur together. So quarterbacks, right, passing yards and receivers, receiving yards, Mahomes over, Kelsey over, or Mahomes under, Kelsey under, right? Those make sense to pair together. It would make zero sense to take Kelsey over, Mahomes under, right? It's just called, you know, there's a big word for it. It's called correlation, but it's pretty simple to understand. These two plays would be amazing to include in your prize picks entry, right? Mahomes to go over, Kelsey to go over. Those are correlated outcomes. So my fourth tip, I mean, it's not unique to prize picks, but it's so important when you start betting on sports and it's be patient, be disciplined. So I'll show you what I mean right here. So I find most of my bets on prize picks on the fantasy optimizer of Odds Jam. This tool just highlights for you all based on data, all based on sportsbook odds. It highlights for you profitable bets in green, right? So right now it's late at night. There's not a bunch of lines set for tomorrow. There's no profitable bets on prize picks. It's all red. Whereas if you look at Fliff, Fliff is another website, another sports book you can place bets on. There's a ton of profitable plays on Fliff, right? So as a sports better, you want to be opportunistic. You're kind of like an investor. You're hunting through the market, looking for value on different sports books. If there's no value on prize picks, don't force a bet, right? I'm not placing a bet on prize picks right now because it's all red. There's no good plays available. So hold off and wait for your spots, right? Once sports books begin to post odds for the upcoming day, there will be inefficiencies on prize picks that you can take advantage of, but be disciplined. So my final tip, which is a good tip for prize picks, not a good tip in a marriage, but don't be loyal, right? There are some people who are like, oh, I like prize picks interface, so I only bet on prize picks. What are you thinking, right? If there's more value on underdog fantasy, so you can see, here's my results so far in 2023 on underdog fantasy. Sometimes there's a lot more profitable bets on underdog fantasy, which is a prize picks competitor. It's a sports book that works very similar to prize picks, another parlay only sports book. And I showed you earlier, Price picks is ripping you off. They're trying to take your money. They are screwing you on these three pick entries. They only give you a 5X payout, whereas Underdog Fantasy gives you a 6X payout. So why would you ever place a three pick entry on prize picks? You may like the interface more, but they're screwing you out of money. They're ripping you off. So as a sports better, you wanna have as many sports book accounts as possible because you never know where the value is gonna be on a given day, right? Sometimes there's a bunch of profitable bets on underdog fantasy. Sometimes there's more profitable bets on prize picks. It really depends. You never know which book is gonna be asleep at the wheel. So get more sports book accounts and don't be loyal, right? Don't be loyal at all.